Now we're going to process one more sale in which we will show you a few more options in the sales screen of the software. Let's say we're going to do a 7-up, one of these buttons here, and then we're going to scan one bottle of water. And let's say this customer wants a gift receipt. That is one of those receipts where uh, you give to somebody when you give them a gift or a present and you don't want them to see the price. It's one of those receipts that has all the prices and the total masked out and kind of like hiding prices and total. So if we just click on the gift receipt button, it will color it differently to remind us that this option is now on. And uh, what this does is it will print any and all um, receipts with a hidden price and a hidden total for all the items. And of course, it's going to continue on doing that until we turn off gift receipt as an option by clicking again on the button. Now, let's say this customer will pay with a credit card. So we're going to go here and select charge as a payment option. And we're going to press, uh, continue on hitting tender and uh, processing the sale. Now, please keep in mind, since we've uh, not set anything up for credit card processing in this software yet, and this is our first time attempting this kind of uh, sale, there will be some things that are going to be popping up and that will need to be set up that only uh, do so for the first time. And uh, all of that will not apply every time that you tender a card. This process will be a little longer when we set up everything for the first time right now. So uh, this is one of those screens uh, where you need to make a decision on what kind of a, a processor you like, how would you like to process the payments in this software. We have four integrated payment processors in our software. These are the four that we recommend and we have integrated with for years in our software. And then you have one non-integrated option, meaning you select this one if you have you know, uh, your own credit card processing machine on the side with your own company that you don't want to change and you do not care if none of that is integrated into our software, that it stays like a separate uh, system on its own. For the purpose of this video tutorial, we'll go ahead and show you how the setup process works for Cayenne, let's say, even though most of them are very similar and you will definitely get help from the processing company that you sign up with on uh, you know your credentials and how to fill them out and all that so uh, we'll go ahead and click either update or process card now that we've selected our processor both of these buttons will do the same thing they will pretty much save our selection in the database so from now on the software knows that we're working with Cayenne and this window will not appear again and uh, it will also continue on to the process card menu so we can finally uh, finish or process this charge. Now this is the Cayenne screen and this also needs some setting up because we're running all of this for the first time which will not be the case in consecutive uh, you know, attempts to process a card. In the future once you set all this up all you'll need to do past tender is this screen shows up and you'll hit process card swipe and you're done. Now let's go ahead and set up Cayenne in here. We're gonna uh, pretty much enter our credentials for Cayenne, uh, but we like you to keep in mind not to copy or try and copy our credentials. Everybody's credentials will be different. They're given to you by Cayenne, as is the case with the other companies. Uh, so none of this is relevant to you really. This is our test account for Cayenne. Now, uh, the account name is usually going to be your company name, but still refer to the Cayenne's uh, you know, paperwork with all your credentials in case they have it in a different uh, way, in a different form uh, from your business name, you still need to make that match in order for the account to work to process these three things, uh, account name, site ID and key need to be an exact match of what Kyan has in their system for your account. We're going to go ahead and select allow duplicates now. That's just better for a testing environment because we may do things over and over again and maybe like repetitive same amount. So we need allow duplicates in here for testing because we may do this like $3 charge with the same customer 
for numerous times but in a real environment maybe it's better to leave this uh, blank and not allow duplicates that way you avoid uh, double charging a customer by mistake or something you know not allowing duplicates means not to allow the exact same amount to be charged more than once to the exact same customer uh, or credit card to the same exact credit card within a 24-hour period but yet again you have some businesses that actually have within the same 24-hour cycle people coming back and charging the same amount they're repetitive like that so do it on business uh, by business basis everybody knows their business and should decide what's better for them in here terminal ID we're not gonna fill out uh, because uh, we're not gonna use a terminal let's say we're gonna use the simple credit card reader the little swiper as people call it uh, I'm not gonna select use a genius terminal of course because we're not using a, a genius terminal as I just said and we're not gonna enter the IP address of the terminal because we're not using it we're using a regular card reader now for this uh, video tutorial purpose now um, Otherwise, if you are using a terminal from uh, Cayenne, if you're using the Genius Terminal, they will also, of course, give you the terminal ID. You will have to select this box in here that using a Genius Terminal, and you will need to fill out the IP address of that terminal, which you actually find by going through the setup menu of the terminal itself. And for that, too, the instructions will be given to you by Cayenne. So go ahead and click Save Account in here. What that's going to do is it's going to save these settings so we never have to go through them again. So next time you want to charge, this window appears. This will all be pre-filled in here for you. You just hit process card. And that's what we're going to try and do right now. We're going to try and process a card now. Just keep in mind one more thing. Uh, since we mentioned that we're uh, trying to set it up for a credit card swiper or a credit card reader in here, keep in mind that uh, you need to absolutely get your credit card reader from Cayenne. Uh, no other credit card readers will do. Even though these are plain credit card readers, they're actually encrypted in their chip inside. They're encrypted with a software encryption that is proprietary to Cayenne. So you can only get these from Cayenne. So even if you have and you think you can match the same brand and the same model of a credit card reader because Cayenne is of course not a manufacturer they buy their credit card readers as well but then when they get them they program them their own way it's very proprietary and that's for safety purposes so that not everybody can hack your terminal and just steal your customers credit card numbers so uh, please get your uh, card reader no matter how simple from Cayenne directly otherwise you may not be successful at processing cards so we'll go ahead and click process card in here and we'll try to process this sale um, we actually don't have a credit card reader handy at this moment so we'll be showing you how this looks like when you manually type in that uh, that card number and all which is also handy because there may be times when you have a damaged card from your uh, customer and you can't swipe it and you need to type it in so this is where you type the card number if we had a reader this is the point where we would swipe and all of this will be filled out automatically by the swipe let's do the expiration date now and the CVV code and as soon as I hit process this should give us a positive result yep it says approved his authorization code reference number don't worry about looking at all that it will be all saved with the data in the software and printed on the customer's receipt with all the important details now here's that screen uh, for collecting customer info since we opted out to collect customer info after every sale I think for the first time right now we can actually show you how it looks like to skip this so we'll click the skip screen and it should complete our sale